Extreme 3D Pouring Paint Can Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video I'm going to be showing you a paint can nail that is pouring paint out of it over a nail and it's just like pouring off the nail. This is extremely similar to my Hershey syrup bottle nail and a couple other boom, couple other nails that I've made that are like this. This one, however, I think is my favorite of them simply for the color combination. Co uh, the color combination. Obviously, I like hot pink. If you look at my channel name, you may have discovered that already. And the matte black with the shiny hot pink is just a great. It, it's beautiful. It's so pretty. It's so striking, and it's just one of those things that you, just draws your eye. And then the chrome little paint can. I'm just. I love it. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. And I also think this one is easier than, I definitely think this one is easier than say the Hershey syrup bottle. So if you're looking for one that's easier that's like this, this is a good one to try. So I hope you guys like it and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So to start with, I'm going to begin with an overlay of clear acrylic. I personally do not like to do overlays of black acrylic. I think that black acrylic really gums up my brushes. So I try to do uh, paint that with gel polish instead, but that's completely optional. If you like to sculpt with black acrylic, go ahead and do it that way too. There's really no right and wrong here. It's just preference. So I like to start out if I'm going to be doing a black nail. I always like to do it with just clear. And then after it's filed, which I'm doing right now, I will go through and I'll paint it with black gel polish. However, otherwise, you know the you know the alternative you can just do it with um, the black acrylic it works out perfectly fine otherwise after it is all filed and buffed into shape you can go ahead and apply a coat or two of black gel polish depending on the black gel polish and then a layer of matte gel top coat after that is all cured I'm going to take and I'm going to poke a hole in the center of my nail with a very tiny e-file bit just like that now to make my paint can I'm going to be sculpting with silver acrylic around a straw so this is a straw that I'm going to be using um that's it's a pretty big straw it's I kind of shopped around for the right size straw at different restaurants that I was at until I found one that I thought was the right the right diameter um but make sure that it's a large enough straw that it makes it so that your paint can doesn't look like it's really skinny so just make sure that just yeah so just look for the right kind of straw and the reason I'm using silver acrylic here instead of black is because I want the inside of my can to be silver and I didn't want to deal with making the inside of it chrome so I just decided that I'd make the can out of silver and then that would work after that's completely cured you're going to want to cut off that section of straw and then using a tweezers you're going to want to work that piece of straw out after you get some air in there it comes right out but sometimes it takes a second to kind of get it worked out then file the two ends that are probably a little straggly looking so that they're nice and straight and then you're going to want to actually put it back on you have that the rest of your straw put it back on your straw just as a little holder and then paint the outside of it with black gel polish so the reason that i'm doing this is because like i said i want it to be chrome i want it to definitely have that very chrome appearance if you wanted to just call it good with the silver acrylic the silver looks i mean it's a really nice silver so that would be fine anyways but if you want it to be chrome chrome go ahead and do black gel polish then a layer of no wipe gel top coat after both of those have cured you're going to want to burnish in some silver chrome powder over the top of your entire can. And as you're curing your can so that it does get the 360 curing, just spin your straw around and around in the lamp just to make sure that it's curing all the way around. Remove the extra dust that's on there and then you're going to want to paint the label. So I'm making my label pink. I wanted everything to kind of stick with that pink and black color combo. So I'm making my label pink and it's just going to say paint on it. I'm, you know, going pretty nail right on the head sort of thing on here. So I'm just going to make a little rectangle across the across the can and make sure that your pink paint is nice and opaque and is covering a pink 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 paint is opaque. Ooh, that's a lot. And then I'm going to be outlining the rectangle with a black line, a very thin black line, just to make sure that kind of sharpens up the edges and makes it look a little bit cleaner. And you actually don't really see the black outline, especially with the chrome background. It just kind of disappears, but it, like I said, it does make it look cleaner. And then you're going to be wanting to write your word in the middle. So like I said, I wrote paint on mine. However, if you wanted to give your paint a name, like you wanted to do a color name, you could write flamingo pink in the middle, or you could write, you know, whatever, whatever color you want to call yours. And your design certainly does not have to be pink. Obviously, you may not like pink as much as I do, and you could possibly want to do yours teal or green or purple or whatever color you want, white even. So then I'm going to make the bottom of my can. So I'm going to just make a little circle on a nail form backing and then set the can on top of it. After that has set enough, you can just pick it up and you should have a nice little bottom on your can. Do the same thing with the chrome powder, black gel, no wipe top coat, chrome powder. After you have your entire can 
completely chromed and finished off there. You can apply a layer of gel sealer over the top of the entire thing, making sure you definitely cover up your label because that'll make it nice and shiny. And the bottom and cure that again. After that's done, I'm going to bend a piece of wire and I'm just using the bottom of or the end of a Sharpie to do this into a nice little half circle. This is going to be for the handle. So find something that's about the right width so that's very similar to the size of your can then glue your handle onto the can so that either end of it is on opposite sides take another piece of that wire and glue it right into the center of the can from the area you want to be pouring out after you have that done take some pink color gel and you're going to want to sort of spread that throughout the inside of the can and then glue your can i know i'm sorry i'm sorry i missed this part of recording but glue your can into the hole that's in the nail but then continue to spread your pink gel down that piece of wire just so it kind of pools right at the bottom. Then on a nail form backing, you're going to want to create six drips, four that are short and two that are long. So there's my, my four short ones. And then here's the two long ones just with the same pink color gel. Make sure that you're using a gel that is not flexible. You want it to be a stiff, a stiff gel. So you don't want to use gel polish for this because like I said, that's going to be flexible. You want something that's going to have some strength to it. So then glue your three strips of your three, your three drips with the two long ones, pretty much right to the either side of where the paint is starting to pour over the nail. And then the two smaller ones on either side of that. So there's the first long one and here's a short one. And here's another short one glued out so that it looks like it's pouring over, pouring out over. And so then repeat the same thing on the other side, starting with the long strip. I keep calling them strips, the long drip, and then another short, uh, the other short drip, and then the last one, just like that. And after they're glued in place, that's just a temporary hold. You're going to want to go over them again with another layer of the pink color gel, and then continue that up until it connects with the center of your, your paint pour. And just kind of continue that along. I kind of did, I didn't want to do the whole thing at once. I wanted to cure it to make sure that it wasn't going to move on me while I was working. So I did one side, just like that. So I got the first part of that done and then I'm going to continue a couple drips just on, um, you can either, it doesn't really matter in the beginning, but I'm going to do another drip coming down to the tip of the nail. So that's why a stiletto or a almond shaped nail really works well for this. Then cure that side. After that's cured, you're going to want to repeat on the other side. So start by adding the second coat over your three drips and then you're going to need to add another one that's up at the back of the nail at the cuticle area. So then here's the last one. And as you're doing this, you can kind of work with your gel some and, you know, play with it and get the color. This hot pink, like I said, the hot pink to black combination was gorgeous. I would highly recommend if you are going to have a black background using a gel that is very opaque. You don't want to have one that is going to show some of the black through and make it look kind of dingy. Um, you want to make sure that it is going to look really, really vibrant. After all of those drips have cured, you're going to want to apply gel sealer over all of your paint. So that's all of the paint that's dripping off the nail, the paint that's pouring out of the can, and the paint inside the can. So make sure you get lots of gel sealer on there and then do lots of layers of curing. So cure it, then move the nail a little bit and cure it again. Make sure you cure inside the can and get all of, all of that gel sealer nice and set. After that, you are all done. Like I said, I think this one is probably the easiest of these that I've done. The paint can itself is very basic, just making it around a straw. It's pretty easy. I hope you guys, if you are liking these, give this one a try. If you switch out the colors, it'd be awesome. I'd love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!